नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एन सी आर टीज लाइव फोन इन इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम माई नेम इज तानवी खुराना एंड इन दिस इंग्लिश क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ पोएम द रोड नॉट टेकन सो दिस हैज बिन रिटर्न बाई रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट इफ यू हैव रेड इट इफ यू दिस एनी थिंग यू लाइक अबाउट इट दैन प्लीज रीच आउट टू आर्स रेज योर क्वेश्चन क्वेरीज एनी थिंग यू वॉन्ट टू शेयर रिगार्डिंग दिस पोएम So our email ID is dth dot class nine at the rate cit dot nic dot in. You're watching us on PME with their channel number nine. And uh, if you want to ask us you know, the questions through our phone call, then the number would be double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. We have an expert in our studio, and uh, he'll be explaining everything regarding this poem. So let me introduce him to all of you. He is Professor R. Meghnathan. Welcome, sir. Namaskar, namaskar, learners. Yes. Sir is from the Department of Education in Languages, NCERT, New Delhi. So let's just ask, sir. Sir, what is this poem all about? Okay, fine. All right, learners. Oh, fine. Th hope that you, you are doing well. This is an apt poem for classes nine to twelve. because learners uh, as they come to classes class 9 they start thinking of their career yeah. so this poem is about the decisions we make in our life okay so okay so let, 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 let's begin by asking the learners some questions here are the questions for the learners what do you want to become so i will ask you what you wanted to become in now now you are a media person yeah okay then let, let's ask the learners first then come to you yeah. uh, what do you want to become in your life then then what's your ambition in life then you must have come across a situation where you had to choose between two options right then everyone wants to become someone in life somebody in life i choose something hmm. and many achieve it some do it in different ways i would not say they have failed it hmm. but uh, not all become what they want yeah why so what do you want to become so i just uh, wanted to become a successful person hmm. in whichever field i wanted to try fine all right so then many people i wanted to become a journalist but okay. i i ended up in be becoming a teacher okay. and in faculty but i am happy about it but still i have a flair for writing mm -hmm. so many of us may have uh, such situations we wanted to become something yeah. but we chose something else that has changed our life right uh, so this poem is about making choices and people how people make choices and choose a particular thing then that line them up in something else right. and they may be happy or not happy but they may be thinking the other route which they have not taken yeah. so this is what uh, robert frost is telling is the road not taken so let let's read the poem okay. so should i ask you to read or should should i read oh so oh, go ahead <laughs> okay all right <laughs> two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both but be but be one traveler long i stood and look down as as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth so let me read the first sentence again hmm. two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could where it bent in the un un undergrowth then look at it yeah now now then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better climb because it was grassy and wanted where though as far that the pass, passing there had warned them really about the same and both that and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black oh i kept the first one for another day yet knowing how way leads on two way i i doubted if i should ever come back i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a wood and i i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference okay now let learners uh, let's go back to the uh, first stanza uh, before that uh, take a look at this is robert frost yeah. the famous american poet mm. he was a nobel laureate and wrote about society life people many many things so we we need not talk about uh, much about him learners can google or search and find out but now look at it uh, the the poet is in front of a wood means a kind of uh, not necessarily a forest wood and two roads diverged means yeah. 
and he was thinking where to travel. Then he, he, thinks, he says that I, I wait for some time, I wait for some time and uh, decide where to, where, which road to take. Look, look, at the, look at the lines. Two roads diverge in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both. It's very clear. You have to take uh, between two, one only you have to choose. That's what. And because I am one person, I am a one traveler. Look at it, why he is using the word traveler. Mm -hmm. Of course, he is walking or using his uh, vehicle to travel. That's a different thing. But in life, we have two choices. Uh, two, two choices and we have to choose only one. Mm. So you travel in life and long I stood and looked down as far as I could. I, I, I tried to look, look at the uh, both the roads mm. and where it bent and under the lot of you no know, some of them some one road is less traveled by he assumed mm. and then other one lot, lot of undergrowth lot of shrubs and bushes. But he thought that which one I should take. Learners, you are in class 9, you must be thinking whether I will take medicine, engineering, journalism, social sciences or civil services to become civil servant or politician, what else and what not. Hmm. But now for you, not only two roads, many roads, yeah. then you will, have to, you will have to decide. That's what the poet brings the dilemma in life. Yeah. And then now, now, now look at the second one, I want you to read. Sure. Mm -hmm. Then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that, the passing there had warned them really about the same. Fine, okay. What did he do? He looked at it and he was trying to choose, okay, let me see the better one. That's mm -hmm. what human tendency is. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have seen the two roads uh, and two options, so let me take the other one. Now look, look at the li lines again, uh, then took the other just fair. Hmm. So, uh, what appeared to be good, having perhaps the better climb. So who is climbing? The poet. The poet. Now, we only climb because hmm. the road will not reveal you anything, the yeah. path will not reveal you anything, you will have to decide. Because it was grassy and wanted where one was little grassy and not worn out some lot, lot of uh, bushes, though for that the passing there. So, it, it, it moves on. I had warned the really about the same and more or less look, both, both of them look the same mm. but I was trying to understand it. We will come back to this learner and then, then look at the third one. Read it. And both that morning equally lay in leaves, no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. Okay, it's, it's the early morning. Then both of them looked uh, with a lot of flowers, means leaves. leaves. Then no, nobody has walked on both, both the roads. Mm. And literally, he says, that I don't know anybody has chosen this path or uh, th that path. So that's a, when you, uh, learners, you must have noticed in the morning, if you go that uh, the, the leaves lay during fall, uh, then, then, mm, then and even in autumn, then when people walk on it, there will be black spots on the right. leaves. That's Otherwise, what they look very fluffy. Oh, yes, that's what he is saying. So look at it, and and that both morning equally lay. They are equally fine. Mm. In leaves, no step had trodden black. Mm. So nobody has uh, trodden, walked. Mm. And who? So now he decided. What he has decided? Let me keep one for another day. Let me walk on that. Mm. And the one way. Yet knowing way leads to. Oh, that's what meaning. Uh, see, I kept one thing another another uh, uh, for another day, thinking that I will come back and take it. But I took the other one, but I know very well this, were, this road will take me on and on. I won't be able to come back. So I doubted if I should ever come back. So I, I'm not going to come back. I know that. Look at it then. Please read, the, read out the last stanza. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood. And I, I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. Right, that's what I, I shall be telling because I have chosen the road. I have taken, you have become a media person. I have become a teacher. Yeah. So uh, I, I may I may have thought of I, I wanted to become something else. Yeah. Then I will be saying that I want I I chose the road, uh, but I wanted to choose another road. And that's yeah. what he's saying. I shall be telling this with a shy, shy maybe out of frustration, out of happiness. Okay, I'm now, I have achieved something. You know that, learners, you know that uh, um, India's Prime Minister was something and uh, then now he's the Prime Minister and many, many cases, many civil servants, many politicians, actors, mm. they say that I wanted to be something yeah. but life has t uh, taken me to this. So that's what, uh, the choosing the path. Look at it. I shall be telling with this uh, shy, somewhere 
ages and ages. I have been saying it now. Mm. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I took the one less traveled by, right. and that has made all differences. Absolutely, that's all difference. All right. Okay. Now, let, now, now let's lis listen to the poem in audio form, which is available uh, in the uh, NCIT website, CIT website, or as a, a NCIT audio books. Come on, listen to it. Yeah. Now let us listen to the poem written by Robert Frost. The road not taken. Page number 15 to 16. This well-known poem is about making choices and the choices that shape us. Robert Frost is an American poet who writes simply but insightfully about common, ordinary experiences. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry, I could not travel boats. Now let us listen to the poem. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry, I could not travel boats. And be one traveler, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted there though as for the passing there though as for that the passing there had worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Some were ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all differences. Okay, now look at it. I'm going to also ask you to read once more so that learners need to actually understand uh, how a poem is read. With, 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 with emotions. Come on. Let's, let's take up, uh, read again, then we'll come back to discuss. Then we have some questions for you and the learners. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Go ahead. Road Two not road. taken. Sorry. The road not taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry, I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that, the passing there had worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves, no step had trodden black. Oh. I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for the for, for the good reading. Learners, uh, reading the poem at least four or five times on your own gives you the idea. Don't bother about some of the words and uh, uh, phrases, meaning of the words, mm -hmm. but the, the meaning of the overall poem is important. Okay, now um, let, let's have some some activities based on that. Okay. Now look at it. Uh, look at look at the questions there. Um, where is the poet in the beginning of the poem? Near the two roads. Uh, near the two roads. You agree with that? B. 
Mm. Okay, near the tree, near the two roads, near the forest, or near the mountain. So, near the roads. Right. Okay, two roads diverged in a yes. yellow wood. Okay, mm. now mm, who is the poet here? The poet, the student, the traveler, or the narrator? The poet is a traveler. The poet uh, says somewhere, you can see that uh, um, the first line. Um, uh, and be one traveler. Okay. So look line. at the third line. Be one traveler. I could not travel both. He never says I could not take both. Hmm. He says I'm, I'm, I started traveling. So hmm. life is a journey, uh, learners. That's what the poet signifies through this. Okay. The poet is a traveler. Hmm. Fine. Now look at it. Why did the poet stand for long? Hmm. Read out the distractors. Okay. Yeah, please. Yeah. A. Hmm. He was not able to decide which road to choose. B. He was able to decide and took one road. C. He was in a dilemma. D. He chose the road with full of trees. Which one? Why did he stay for long? So he was in a dilemma. Dilemma. Whether to take this road or that road. Yeah. That's what learners in life making decisions is not easy. And most of the time, is the advice that carry not only carrier options, mm -hmm. even food, ordering food yes. uh, in, in a restaurant, in a hotel or are taking a route to reach our office or school, something like that. Okay, let, now let's look at the fourth one. Which road did he actually take? A. Mm. He took the road full of grass. B. He took the road less travelled by. C. He chose the road with better future. D. He could not choose any road. Which one? So, he took the road less travelled by. He took the road less travelled by. Which he assumed that it was less travelled by. Yeah. And then he didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Okay. That 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 was the the, uh, the poetical element in the, in the poem. He says that I do not know, but I thought that it was less travelled by. So, so is I, it a risk that he took? And that I don't know. You have to say learners. I would say so every time in life, the, the risk taking itself is a, is is a kind of a misnomer because uh, uh, and another thing you know, don't take stress. Uh, then do the work cool. It's not true. So, most, most of the innovations and uh, discoveries and great breakthroughs uh, have been done or done under high pressure. Mm -hmm. So, that, that's what even when somebody writes a poem, mm -hmm. so there is some, something uh, which impels the person. That's what the poet says, I took the road less traveled by which assumed, maybe he was under stress. So, mm -hmm. what to choose? Okay. Then, wanted where means, let, let, let's go back to the poem, then find out, you are going to give me four or five minutes. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm? Okay. Look at it. Where is it? Second passage, third line. Okay. Come on, read that. Yes. Because it was grassy hmm. and wanted wear. Hmm. What does it mean here? Wanted wear? Let's just see the options. Hmm. Yeah. Wanted wear means A. Used less. Hmm. B. Used by many. Hmm. C. With lot of holes. Hmm. D. Good road. So, Used less. So it was um, used less. Yeah, so so he, he thought that let me choose the one which is, uh, which he assumed, he believed that less, uh, less used. Hmm. Uh, so that I will have a nice walk or nice travel. So, uh, look at it. How did the road look in the morning? Full of trees, full of leaves, full of holes and stand and full of problems. Hmm. Full of leaves. So, should I say uh, full of problems? <laughs> no, uh, not no. at all. For the, for the poet, it's not. For the narrator, yes. you know, whoever you call it. So, uh, he says that, uh, let's, let, let's go back to the lines there. Uh, uh, why did he, how did you come, come to that uh, answer? Uh, uh, look at Th it. Third passage. That, yeah. yeah. That. And both that morning. Mm, okay. Equally lay. Read, read, out, read out fully. And both that morning equally lay. In leaves, no step had trodden black. That's right. Okay. So, he feels that uh, um, mm -hmm. it's full of leaves. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, then, what does it mean? I kept the first one for another day. Mm -hmm. So, he kept the first which he had not chosen for another day. That's, is, a, that's the plain meaning, literal yeah. meaning. Okay. Mm -hmm. He decided not to take the first road. Mm -hmm. Then, he kept the second road for another day. Mm -hmm. He could not travel on both the roads. Rather, op all the options are correct. Fine. Mm -hmm. But he last one is not last. correct. He could not travel on both the roads. Uh, uh, so, uh, you are going to choose all three? <laughs> I'll give you. I, I, agree, yeah. I agree with you. Learners, you decide whether she is right or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then, see, more than one option is right here. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I would I will go for all three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, 
Why does the poet say, I doubted if I should ever come back? He thought that he would never take the first road. He thought that he would never come back to the second road. He thought that he should not take the first road at all. Or he thought that he should not have taken the second road. What was it? It's B. He thought that he would never come back to the second mm -hmm. road. That he, won't, he won't come back. Mm. That, that, that's what. What would be the poet telling people? Ages after ages. <laughs> he took the second road. He took the less traveled road and that made the difference. Two roads diverged in a wood and he took the second road. He was happy to take the road he chose. I think I would go with D. He was happy to take the road he chose. But was he happy? That's uh, something we don't know. And then what about the second option? Second one? Uh, yes, that's one of the phrases in the poem itself. He took the less traveled road and that made the difference. All difference. That's the last that, that, line. That, that, that's right. Yes. So this is Robert Frost. I, uh, do, do you have time? No, we don't uh, have so, any so more time. I'm yet. going to still ask you to read uh, the, the, the poem once more. Uh, learners, I wanted, we wanted to discuss with you uh, the, the, the rhyme scheme, I, I think which is familiar, you, you, you know. Uh, you know, let, let's read the poem uh, again and, and close it. Come on, let's look at the poem again. Okay. Yeah, uh, Two the... roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry, I could not travel both. And be one traveller, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth, hmm. then took the other just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, Though as for that, the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves, no step had trodden black. In leaves, oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages, hence, Two roads diverged in a wood and I, I took the one less travelled by and that made all the difference. Okay, learners, read it and do the activities in the textbook. If you have any, any other things, you may send us your, your, your questions, queries, we will try that. Okay. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for this wonderful poem. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you to all the viewers for watching this program and I am sure you enjoyed it. Please stay here, don't go anywhere. We are coming back with another special program of ours. That's webinar on the series Cyber Safety and Security. And the topic of discussion would be financial frauds by misusing social media platforms. So for this information, stay here and raise your questions. Thank you once again. Stay safe. Namaskar.